Hello everyone! One of the many perks of being home is this. No! Nope. Mom's won't be on there, but <laughs> breakfast and home cooking and all that. <laughs> I wanted to put this in last week's vlog, but I forgot. Um, my mom was looking, what, you said Arizona pictures? She was looking through some pictures? Uh huh. She was looking through some old pictures and she found this. This is the ticket to my very first ever Indians game. And that's awesome to have back. I was a late bloomer too. I was 11 years old for my first game, but better late than never. <laughs> Made to order. Good stuff. Home style. This is where my I'm mom wanted to meet. watch the vlog, so here. why not put it on the TV? Let's go into the Wii U. And, uh, now I'm a student manager. So the vlog exception. So I got this red shirt. Believe it or not, Aaron and I are pretty big nerds. <laughs> and we are about to try the new Smash demo. I used to be a huge fan of this game growing up, so this is a this is a large leap forward. Right, Aaron? Yep. We're nerds. Who's the winner? Who won? I'll give you guys a hint. I'm Link. <laughs> I won! No. Didn't I, Tyler? No, I'm player one. No, I'm player <laughs> one. Man, today's been so lazy, and I thought my last Saturday was lazy. Everyone's out doing their thing. Erin's taking pictures for one of her family members. She went with Savannah earlier. My siblings are working. And here I am, hanging out with the dogs. Sometimes you need one of those days, though. I'm really tired, too. Maybe I'll just sleep the rest of the day. Nah, I have to go back to Akron and grocery shop. that time of the week again. Yep. Aaron right now though is getting the guinea pig food. Why is this red? Oh, what? Oh, red roommate. Oops. Wrong one. She's doing this just so you guys can be entertained. That's what she told no, me. I, I, don't think she, I don't think she cares about the guinea pigs anymore. She cares about you guys. That's really mean. Not true. But thoughtful at the same time. <laughs> Done. Guess where we are? Don't tell them. It's food. It's good. It's Panera. Maybe I lied about the whole not getting spoiled part because we are spoiling ourselves again. Go Bucks. Oh yeah! It's my favorite food. Well. Besides a Chinese place back in now, it's called Chef Pang, but I don't think you would know that. Erin got something new. She's Fontina gonna try it. Grilled cheese. Let's see it. Let's see if she likes it. <laughs> What's the verdict? It's okay. No. Oh. I wouldn't get it again. I got my normal bacon turkey bravo, French onion soup with a baguette. So I can't go wrong there. Right. It's okay, it's getting better now. You wanna try it? No, I'm good. What's your favorite food? Ever? <laughs> what's your favorite like, what's, food? What's the food, like any restaurant or anything that you make that you can't live without? Because I don't think I can go without Panera for too long at least. Chinese food, definitely not. But what's yours? Hi! Hi! 
Hello? Oh! beginning to look and feel a lot like fall. And that makes me one happy person, I'm telling you that. I can't wait to be a teacher! Erin just had her first ever, well you student taught, right? No, oh. I just, I, taught, I helped the kids read and I was just like helping them out with quotation marks and stuff. Well, it was the first experience teaching. How was it? It was absolutely, couldn't be any better, ever. Perfect. Well, congratulations. And I got this. Look at me, I'm official. Hmm. All right, so check this out. I like the motto, if you're honest, you pay a dollar, which I'm going to. And you grab whatever tea you want. It's really cool. Yeah, I'll go with green tea. And there's something else going on down here too, so. You gotta love campus life. Alright guys, I'm going to uh, a presentation right now actually for a guy named Dave Berg. He was the co-producer for this night show with Jay Leno for I believe close to 18 years. And he's gonna talk about uh, his book called Behind the Curtains. So let's go and do that and uh, hopefully afterwards I can get a question in. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, every day, no matter if it was, a, 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 we were going through a, a really, really hard times, difficult times, such as Leno versus Letterman, Leno versus Conan, Leno versus whoever was the current NBC executive, whatever crises we were going through, you knew that you could come in and Jay would just be the same guy. He was once asked by a reporter. I thought it was kind of a lame question at the time, but, but I like it, actually. The reporter said, if you could be any engine in your garage, his garage, by the way, consists of seven warehouses, and more than 200 vehicles. If you could be any engine in your garage, what would it be? And he said, I would be a steam engine. Because a steam engine, it doesn't go too fast, it doesn't go too slow, it just keeps going. And that's what it was like being with Jay Leno, which truly, truly is a blessing in the midst of chaos. Um, like what one piece of advice from a professional standpoint would you give any students when they're trying to like you know break in to the industry? I don't think that what I do is all that different from what you do. Mm -hmm. We do the same things, right? Right. You, you talk to people on the phone, you put together stories, don't you? Yeah. You're doing it already and so I just say keep doing it. But my, my feeling is go to whatever door opens up and usually that's going to be in town. Yeah. Whatever door is going to open, even if it sounds like, I don't want to do that, right? I'm on the meanest machine ever. It's a chariot. I scrub 20. It's a beast. That's Kadeem. Look who I found walking the class. <laughs> See, this just made my day. This is good. Chris Parlamas. I enjoy the vlogs, Tyler. It's something I have always wanted to do myself. Keep making them. And I'm going to keep making them. And you should start making them too. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It's Friday. And I got beat up this week. Did you get beat up this week? Yeah, I yeah, did. It was a rough week. So what we're gonna do right now should cheer us up. Where are we going, Erin? The Indians guy! <laughs> Why don't we yeah. yell everything? I don't know, she likes to yell. <laughs> so that's where we're going now. We're going to Cleveland and we're going 
I just need this night to feel to feel alive again. And I haven't been to that many games this year. I used to, I would usually go to like 10 to 15 each year, but this summer was a little different. I hated this summer. And uh, we haven't been able to go, so we're gonna go right now. There she is. Cleveland. That I love. I do. I really love it here. Cleveland's the best. We can play how square how cute it is. I know, that's pretty cool. You can see the chandelier, check this out. It takes forever to zoom in. That's a giant chandelier hanging over the street. I think it's pretty cool. Here's a better angle of that chandelier. It's huge. I mean, that thing is. That is mammoth. You don't see these kind of buildings in Akron or Niles. That building is, uh, let's say, 1837. The little things, you know? The little things you can take in from, you know, a city like Cleveland. Thank you. Hello. Hi. We're in! We're in. And by the way, these seats you're about to see, we got on StubHub for $15 a piece. Keep that in mind. Welcome to the Jake. Correctively, it's progressive field, but. That's $15 a piece. Check that out. We're little nooks, as you can see, we're like kind of hidden. But for 15 bucks, you can't beat this. That's great. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up the vlog. So thanks again for coming this week. Uh, this is my second week in a row that I'm ending with the Indians. It's not a bad thing. Uh, but I'm going to go home, I'm going to edit this vlog, and then I'm going to get some well needed sleep. Because I got beat up this week. Alright guys, be well, be nice to one another. And I'll see you all next week.